So I just got done watching this video from Dom Mozzarella, and he said that calisthenics will not get you laid. Calisthenics is pretty much pole dancing for dudes who can't get big. But what's the real definition? Literally, nobody knows. Let me tell you something. He is absolutely right. I am a virgin. I have never felt the sensual touch of a woman. I've never shaken their hand. I've never hugged them. I've never kissed a woman. I've never even had sex. You could check my channel, bruh. I have no proof of any woman on my channel. I have no kids. I have nothing. I am a complete virgin. Sometimes I'll get an email from one of my college tennis clients saying, hey, bro, uh, so every time I go to the club on Saturdays, uh, my bodybuilding friend is always leaving with three women around his arm and I'm pretty much his Uber driver for him and those three women to the hotel. And he always just slaps me a $5 bill for gas and he just says, hey, peace out, bro. I hope you go home and enjoy your calisthenics. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I will. So I get home and all I, all I have left is my right hand, a jug of lotion, prawn hub, and a cup full of tears, bro. Like what, like come on, Simon, what happened? I thought you were going to help me get women with this calisthenics stuff. Hey man, you just paid me to be your calisthenics coach. You did not pay me to be your dating coach. How can you expect dating advice from somebody who's never dated before? I almost didn't even know how to spell date until I was 18, bruh, 18. I've never kissed a woman as I told you. I haven't touched a woman. So why would you ask me on how to get women? That doesn't make any sense. Everybody knows that if you want to get women, you become a bodybuilder, okay? When you go to the club, women are not looking at you to see if you can do a handstand or pistol squats. They want to see how big your biceps are. They want to see how big your chest is, okay? They do not know how strong you are when you're at the club. So I'm sorry, bro. You dug your own grave by going to the club with a bodybuilder. Like, come on, man. Come on. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, let me tell you something. Growing up, the only, the only thing I knew was the friend zone, bro. The only thing I knew was the friend zone. I've gotten friend zoned from kindergarten all the way to university and college. Like, bro, I got friend zoned before I even became friends with the woman. Like, dude, dude, it sucked at first, but I picked up calisthenics and I decided, hey, me doing calisthenics will not ever get me laid. I will never experience a woman. But hey, do you think I will give up these gains just so I could feel or smell or taste a vagina? I've heard that vagina is wet and sometimes it smells like fish. Why do I want vagina juice on my fingers or on my lips? Why? Why would I ever want that? When I'm going to go shake a hand to close a business deal, do you think I want vagina juice and fish smelling vagina Olders on my hand when I'm shaking these people's hands. No, I do not want that. So no, I am. I don't care. I enjoy my calisthenics. I enjoy being a virgin because I do not have to stress over a woman calling my phone every second asking me where I'm at because the answer will always be I'm at the gym. But will any woman always believe that you're at the gym? No, they're going to start believing you at another woman's house. The gym is going to be cold word for other women's house. And I do not have the patience to deal with that stress. So you bodybuilders, hey, go ahead and get laid enjoy your STDs and enjoy the headaches that you get from these women because I know it cannot be that fun. You ever like been with a chick for a while, you know, and then like you meet this the like, total smoke show thought and you're like, yeah, this chick right here, she's the one. And you piece your old girl. You ever been there before? Not really. I, what's going on? You, Were you like a loyal dude or something? Yeah. Square. Uh, so you piece your old chick for this like grade A fucking thought, but then you bang and she turns out to be a starfish. Not a good kind, like a chocolate starfish. Uh, but like, and after that you're like, shit, dude. I definitely should just stay with my old home. Cause she let me do whatever the fuck I want. Maybe laughing at me and calling me jealous because I've never really experienced a vagina. But hey, you can't do a handstand. You can't do a one arm pull up. So, hey, if you think I'm jealous over your big muscles, then so be it, bro. So be it. Well, hey, that is all I have for now. I do not care for sex. It is a sad truth for a lot of y'all who did count sex and are blindsided now. I'm sorry. This is a happy truth for me because I do not care to deal with the headache of a woman. And hey, I care all about my gains. 
okay? I don't trust these women nowadays in 2017 because they be trifling. I do not want to waste and spill my testosterone over a woman's titties. It is not worth it. I want to keep all of my gains, okay? I want to keep all of my gains. Why do you think bodybuilders take steroids? Because they're always having sex and they're busting their testosterone over these women's titties and over their faces and they have to supplement themselves with zinc and hormones and whatnot. So hey, if that's the life you want to live, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. I hope you live past the age of 45, man. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys comment down below. How many times have you gotten laid? Have you gotten laid? Have you been doing calisthenics or are you a bodybuilder? I pretty much know what the answers are going to be, but let's just do it for research purposes. Anyway, I'm out of here. Stay blessed. Done.